Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna be talking about teeth. So a lot of you guys have noticed my teeth look different, but some of y'all might have not noticed. A lot of y'all have um, asked in the comments like, what happened to your gaps? Or anybody else notice her gaps are gone? Wait, her teeth look different, yeah. So today I'm just gonna make a quick video and let you guys know what happened to my teeth. How I went from this to this. I'm pretty much obsessed with my teeth right now. Like I didn't mind my gaps before, but I, like I didn't mind my middle gap. Like I thought it was cute, like whatever. But I had like a gap on the left side that was huge, like between these two teeth. And like you wouldn't you wouldn't catch me smiling from this side at all. But now I'm like, <laughs> but this is still my good side. That's why this was my good side because I didn't have the gap. But now I can smile at either. But I still like this side more, you know. But anyway, okay. The big question is, are these my teeth? Like, did I get brand new teeth or veneers? And the answer is no, I didn't. These are my natural teeth that I was born with. And yeah, that's what's showing. I just got Invisalign. That's why nobody really noticed that I had anything going on because in my videos, I wouldn't be wearing my Invisalign. Sometimes I'd wear it, but you can't really tell. People were like, why do her teeth look bigger? It did make my teeth look bigger and it closed my gaps. It made my gaps appear closed because of the aligner. And it happened so quick. I finished my Invisalign in literally about four months, four or five months, yeah. and. Oh my gaps are good, and that cute? Oh. So I basically just wanna give you an overview and like my experience on my design. So let's get started. I've been wanting like, I always wanted braces and I also just never got them. Like the doctors always asked me if I had braces because I said my bite was like perfect. But I didn't like my gaps. I personally hated my side gap. Like I, if I ever had to smile from the side, I'd be like, or if I had laughed, and someone was over here, I'd cover my mouth. Like that's how self-conscious I was about that gap. So Invisalign actually contacted me and asked me if I just wanted the Invisalign in exchange for stories. But since I like how it came out and I never did my stories yet, I thought I should just do a YouTube video since a lot of y'all were asking about it. So that's why I'm doing a YouTube video instead. But um, they just gave me Invisalign in exchange for stories and that was it. So I didn't get to pay, I didn't actually pay out of pocket for the Invisalign aligners, like for the treatment. But I did pay for all the other stuff. So basically what happened was they set up an appointment at an orthodontist out here in Los Angeles. And I went to one in Studio City. I went to Studio City Orthodontist. That was the closest orthodontist to me that did Invisalign. So I went ahead and went out there and they were super, super nice. I actually really liked them a lot. And you go for your little consultant thing and they check your teeth and they, they see if you're able to get Invisalign or if you actually probably need braces because Sometimes if your teeth are a certain way, you can't get it or something like that. But I was able to get Invisalign, so they went ahead and scanned my teeth and they actually did this like virtual scanning thing. I've never seen that in my life and here's a video on it. Basically, instead of doing impressions like with the goo and then you like bite on it and then it molds your teeth, they literally like scan it with pictures and it like does a 3D mold of your teeth and I thought that was the coolest thing ever. I didn't know that was possible. I didn't know technology went to that, but it did. And then they send that in, and then Invisalign does all your work, and then they make a virtual video of like how your teeth are and how they will move. And so that's um, what I got, and it's right here. I'll put it right here. So this is how my teeth are, and then you go ahead and move this like with your trays, and it shows you your final result of how your teeth will look at the end and then those little orange things on the video um they are called attachments and sometimes they have to put attachments on your teeth for the invisalign for the aligner to grasp on and like be able to push and move easier rather than just moving tooth that has something to grab on and to move so i had to get some of those luckily i didn't need them on the front four teeth or the front bottom four teeth i just needed them on the sides and sometimes in pictures i could see them but a lot of people didn't notice but i could just tell because they're just clear but they stick out like 
a bracket basically. Uh, I'll show y'all a video. So those are the uh, those are the what you call it attachments on. So whenever your trays are done, you go ahead and you get them. You go back up there, and they put glue on the little like dots of glue like where you're supposed to be getting the attachments on. And then your aligner has the little lumps in it already where it's supposed to be. So they go ahead and put it on and then they put the light, the orange blue light, whatever, to harden it. And then that's how the attachments get on your teeth. And then there you go, you're done. And then you're gonna start your Invisalign. So I was supposed to have my Invisalign for about six months, six, seven months or something like that. But this light thing, and I heard about it through somebody else, I can't remember. It was like a vibrating thing that like makes your teeth move faster. So I asked them about it and they were like, oh, we have a more advanced one and it's a light. It's called a orthopulse. This right here, I bought myself. This was like a thousand something, like a thousand two hundred dollars. But I thought it was gonna be worth it. And it was worth it. Because it took my time down from six, seven months to three, four months. Like I was done. I would have been done quicker, but I had to redo my aligners at one point and it took like three weeks to even get them back. But this is the Orthopulse. It's a light, um, this is a little charging case and you just put it in here and it charges. But you just put this in your mouth and when you bite down on it, these little lights turn on and you put it in for like a minute at the top and then a minute at the bottom every single day and it moves your teeth quicker. It makes them be able to move quicker. And instead of changing your aligner, your retainer, sometimes people have to change it every two weeks or every week. I was going to have to change it every week, but using this, I was able to change my aligner every three days, three days. So that's how I finished so quick. They said this gives off like a UV kind of light that warms your gums and just makes it, um, makes your teeth able to move quicker and actually less painful. So. This right here, it's a lot of money, but I bought it with my own money because I knew it was gonna be worth it, and it was worth it! So there's that. Um, the day that I actually had to start Invisalign. Whoa, okay. So they tell you, it's just gonna feel a little tight. You know, all right, it's gonna feel a little tight. But the first day, like, I got them um, around noon, whatever, I went through the whole day wearing it, and then I went to sleep, woke up, Oh my gosh, my mouth was hurting so bad. Like I was crying, my mouth was hurting so bad. The, fir the first three days was horrible. Just because your teeth are just there in a spot and then all of a sudden you're trying to move them. Even if it's just a little bit, it was moving every single one of them and it hurt so bad. Um, the part that hurt was taking out the aligner and then putting it back in. Oh. I didn't want to eat, I didn't want to do nothing. I just wanted to drink waters and juices and then not eat because I did not want to take them out and have to put them back in because it was the worst pain ever. But after the three days, it was fine. Never hurt ever again. Even when I had to change my aligners every three days, never hurt again. It was just those three days, it was the worst, but I guess it was worth it. And I'm, and I'm glad that it was only the three days because, whoa, yeah. You know, I went this far and I haven't even showed you the Invisalign. Okay, so these are actually my retainers because I am now done with Invisalign. So these are like my final ones, but they look just like the other ones except for they don't have the attachment little knob things on them. So they give you a retainer case. So you just keep your stuff in here. This is my new case. So this is the what an aligner looks like. It's literally clear and it's shaped to your teeth and it, at the top shaped to like where your gums are so it doesn't touch your gums at all. It literally stops at your gums. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in so y'all can see um, the difference. So here is without and then here is with it and this is how you put it in. You just shove it in and that's it in. And this is my bottom one. There you go. So when I have my Invisalign in, I do have a little bit of a lisp. So this is with the Invisalign in. I do have a little bit of a lisp and this is what I had to deal with for about four or five months. And I got used to it. So yeah. <laughs> but you can't see any, like from, from afar, 
Yeah, I can y'all tell that I have it in? Not really, right? The only thing is, is like your tooth don't touch. You see, it kind of there's like a kind of gap. Uh -huh. Yeah. When you're actually doing like the treatment part, they give you these little yellow things called chewies. And this is to get it. Sometimes the misline doesn't go over the attachment, so you have to bite down on these. Bite on it, and it molds it to the, your teeth, so it's always in tight. So yeah, there's that. And then taking it out. I don't know if I'm gonna have to spit in my mouth. So if I do, and you get grossed out, oh well, sorry. So you just take it out from the inside, and then simple as that. And then put them up. Done. So yeah, that's Invisalign. Honestly, being able to eat whatever you want, because people with braces, they like always talk about they cannot eat like apples, they can't eat hard candy and stuff, and like I want to sit here and be able to eat candy, like. You know, so that's how my Invisalign went. They actually don't give you every single liner at once. They give you about five of them. Or they want me to come back. I probably went back like every two weeks. So they probably give me like, yeah, like five of them or six of them. And then I come back every two weeks and you have to go in just to make sure they're moving correctly because like sometimes because one time in the middle of my process, my teeth weren't moving correctly because I don't know if I forgot to wear it. I think it was whenever I went to Tokyo, I wasn't wearing it like I should have been um, because kept leaving time differences and I would forget it and I wasn't at the hotel. So I feel like that messed me up, but if not, then I would have finished sooner. So yeah, I would have finished sooner, but it was my fault. But that's why you go in to make sure you're moving, your teeth are moving correctly because if you just keep doing it, eventually your liner won't go on correctly and it won't even go on at all. But mine, um, when you can tell that your aligner isn't fitting correctly and it's not moving right, your teeth aren't moving right, you get like a clear gap in between the bottom of the aligner and your tooth. So it's like your tooth and then clear. And it shouldn't have a clear like it shouldn't have a clear line at the bottom because that means it's not on all the way. So I had to rescan. They just rescan me like normal. I had to keep wearing that same aligner that I was wearing until the new ones came in. And it kind of took like three weeks or a long. Like it took a long time, almost a month. And that part I understood because they had to remake all of my aligners. But just stay on track. If you're doing these, you have to. But it's really nice how they can just rescan and they keep rescanning you and fixing stuff until you have a perfect smile that you love and you like and you're good with. I'm going to link like Invisalign's um, website and stuff in the description box below so y'all can check it out. And like you can do online consultant, like they will send you prices and everything. So yeah, since I don't know that exactly. But yeah, overall, my Invisalign experience was amazing. Like I'm so excited about my teeth. And then I got them whitened at this place out here in LA that I go to. I posted a picture about it. But I was like, yes, look at me and my teeth. And it's funny because I, I actually considered getting veneers because I wanted my gaps closed. And I was like, my teeth are too little. And my teeth are like, like you can see my teeth. I don't know, it's weird. I'm going to put a before and after video right now. So. so here's me talking in a different video. And then here's me talking now. So can y'all, y'all can see the difference, right? Because when I watch my old videos, I'm like, dang, you can actually tell the difference. And I'm sure like, you can't tell until now. So, yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Invisalign did a lot of great things for me. I feel like I look a little older. And my teeth don't look as small because they're close together. Because they looked tiny before. Like, I really thought I had too small of teeth. And, like, these teeth, I thought they were too small. But now they're close together. But yeah, that was my Invisalign experience. I don't think I forgot anything, but stay till the end because I'm going to have before and after pictures, like side by side. Yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And then now you know what happened to my mouth. And these is my real teeth. They just moved a little bit. Yeah. With Invisalign's help. Thanks, Invisalign. <laughs> but I hope this video was very informative. If any of y'all were thinking about Invisalign, because if y'all were thinking about Invisalign, but you're like, eh, I don't really know if it works. Girl, 
boy, it works. It really works. If I would have known this a while ago, I probably would have done Invisalign like years ago. Maybe like two years. I would have done it a long time ago if I would have known. But now I did it, so I'm excited and I'm happy and I'm excited. But my two teeth, I'm about to be cheesing from my left side all the time. Look. <laughs> okay, anyway, let me stop. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you everybody for watching though. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe because if you watch this video, you didn't subscribe. What you doing? Because there's a lot more on this channel that you can watch and be entertained by. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go. <laughs> see you later.